Boss, you see, I bet some monkey eye, you know. Come follow me to a secret place where only the moon can see. Beyond the shores, there is something more. Just waiting for you and me. I see. All right, thank you very much for checking me out. Uh, today is what? Uh, 24th of January 2020. And I'm here with two brothers right now. I told you that my YouTube channel is to connect brothers on the motherland. You know what I'm saying? African things, you don't know. And then brothers from the diaspora, that's what it is. All right. Yeah, welcome, well, glad to be here, glad yeah. to be here. Yeah. 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 So we're coming to, he has heard about the land okay. from my YouTube channel and from other places as well. So uh, there's a group in the UK, but he was sent to come and, you know, survey the place, look at the land, meet the people one-on-one, -on -one, know the people in charge. I've called o o Uber, he's a little bit busy, so uh, you are the next person to meet. So I want you to meet a brother from the UK, from the Caribbean. Yes, originally. Yeah, I'm Kwame Amos. Kwame Amos. Pleasure. I'm Marlon Paul, Jamelia, Montana. Well, the reason why I said it is because there are people who know me from growing up from young to adulthood and they will know my name. So it's all important to know that those who don't me know, know me, don't know me, and those who do know me recognize and um, it's me speaking genuinely and trying to relay the information as accurately as possible so that you, my brothers and sisters, can make the right decision. Um, traditionally, when you go to some place, they just welcome you. Unfortunately, I don't have water around with me. When you visit, they give you water, they give you a seat to say, then they ask your mission for coming. So once you are here, you need to ask the reason why you are here. For me, um, I've come in here as part of my son Kofa. I'm here on a road to repatriation. Um, a return back to the land of our ancestors in regards to a reconciliation which was prophesied even in scripture and also is now necessary with what's taking place across the world. Unprecedented times are here and unprecedented events and this here is not a coincidental occurrence. The fact that you are brothers indigenous to the continent have made it aware to us that we have an opportunity to come back to the land of our ancestors is not something to be taken lightly. So as a goal I've come to verify Yes, verify and also to see for myself as a representative of exactly what's taking place so that I can relay it back and confirm as well just to give for us the act and, and, and to come and see um, in, in a progressive mindset but also one of humility. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, um, whatever you've heard is true. Um, our president um, declared a year of return and uh, the king of Asebu traditional area supporting the president said, yes, this is the time our brothers and sisters in Jasper should come back home. So he has offered a huge land to support that cause. You are coming back home, where are you going to stay? Are you going to rent houses or hotels? hotels and that's, no, he's giving out lands for you to come and settle, mm -hmm. build and mingle with your people here. It's not got like, you are going to be settled here and uh, the local people, the indigenous also will be staying somewhere else. No, that's not no we are going to integrate. mix, that's it, then we integrate with each yeah. other. And this is a land that has been offered. It's very huge land and um, we need to do it in such a way that when you come, it's not like that you are going to look for somebody to do a pipe on water for you. Yeah, you understand? So we need to demarcate the land, mm -hmm. bring electricity mm -hmm. straight up to the land, then the waters, the layout will be in. We leave places for recreation, school, hospitals, businesses and that stuff. I'm so very that, interested to learn it. about that because that's, it's not just about residential. No, 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 not just about residential. Sure. All sort of businesses, mm -hmm. uh, it's a huge land, it's a very huge land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything goes into it. So has there been a structure, uh, any paperwork, or uh, obviously oh, yeah, there's been discussion as to what a, they expect so that yeah, we can understand what what we can contribute or what we can bring to it? A bit of a website okay, okay. Mr. Yeah, we have a website, you can go there, Google and find out a lot of information about this project. Mm -hmm. And um, 
um, it goes with a little bit of um, yeah, then, uh, commitment, mm -hmm. right? Start something. You need to just use it to demarcate the places, mm -hmm. and we give you the land for free. But when you commit yourself, and within a period of time, we're not able to develop it because a lot of your brothers and sisters we are they are coming. So we need somebody because it's free. Not just them come and take it and leave it there and go and stay. You don't come back. Mm -hmm. You need to see people doing something mm -hmm. on this land mm -hmm. so that we can come together and this vision will be realized. Hmm. So like to add to what he was saying, if you are given the land, you are expected within a year or two so, to put up at least 50% of whatever you want to put on that land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that it doesn't be like you just take it and then okay, you have land and then you leave, go stay there mm -hmm. and for like two, three years you don't care. They have to give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that is what he means by committing. You need to commit yourself. You need to know that yeah, if I'm coming for it, then I'm ready to do something. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it reminds me a, a bit, you know, um, of how I was raised with the Bible of the land, the promised land, how it was allocated according to the size of the family. Mm -hmm. If it was bigger, you'd get more. If it was smaller, it would reduce. And um, it was necessary to develop it so as to keep the wild beasts away. Uh, you know what I mean? It was, it was processes, so exactly. it, it makes perfect sense. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what you get to do. You have a place for residential, a place for industrialization, a place for us games and that stuff. And parks and that stuff, all through the year. Okay, so can we walk down just yeah, move around? Yeah, you can around? walk down and look around. Okay, let's, just let's have go. a You know, we are on the on the land. This land is very big, very huge. And uh, my brother from the UK is here to check it out. He's met Amos. You've not met Amos before. Amos is a, he's a brother. He's the caretaker of the place. So when Obed is not available, Amos is always here to take you through. So look at him very well. If you're coming yes. to Ghana, <laughs> very soon we're, we're gonna come see the land. You see Amos, and then you know we'll take things from there. This is another. Send them a, a message. Our yeah, brothers and this sisters. This is an opportunity for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to come back home. We are ever ready to receive you mm -hmm. and come and develop as many as you can so that the country itself that we were sent from will get benefit from you and also benefit from us. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Exactly. We have a lot of cultural that we need to share together. Yeah. We've lost it. So let's come together to build our continent. Yeah. You are welcome, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. We commonly a separate entity now, you know. Some of us may have picked up skills along the way um, that we hope to be able to share with our brothers here. But it's also to remember as well is that our brothers are ingenious over here. So humility is needed also. How can we come and learn from our brothers over here? And how can we bring what we may have learned on our journeys through the rest to come uh, solidate those strengths together to make this work um, in a progressive venture, in a progressive movement. So calling on all our brothers over here and sisters who are in the diaspora, um, we're going to be walking around and you can see, I mean, I don't, I, I, I can't put across how beautiful this is. And the only way that you're really going to see and appreciate this is to be here for yourself. However, having been here, I will be able to relay back to you firsthand that this is something which is not to be taken lightly, please. So we're going to walk a little bit more. Our brothers will explain. Um, more better for them to say it because they know better than me. But at least you can say that I'm here as a representative of the community in the UK. Had to be contributing towards that. It's not a case of right, thanks. You know, you crack on. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is what some of us do in the UK in construction and building, and and, 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 and we'd like to be involved. Okay. Then we need to discuss about this thoroughly with the charities to know. Maybe, yeah. When do you want to demarcate the lines? Three of course, because initially we wanted to contract the district assembly, the engineers over there, to just demarcate, know where we do our industrialization, mm -hmm. where the residentials, where all these things. Then we start with the piping mm -hmm. and the electricity and that stuff. So they're doing the grid planning at the moment. That's it. Yeah. Okay. They're doing the planning at the moment. Okay. That's why we are not giving the last now. Mm -hmm. Everything must be finished. Us, we are dealing with the international communities. Yes, so yes, yes. Need to be done properly. Mm -hmm. We are not just doing anything for anything's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are doing this 
land plan, landscape, system, all the things. Then we start. And is there a time frame that our, our, our brothers yep. are working to here? Yeah. There's a bit, you know, in Africa, we delay certain things, but the time frame they're working very fast because we've seen the seriousness of our brothers coming back home. So the chiefs and the people are just working things faster and faster. I think by next month or two, the chief is going up to US to meet the brothers and sisters. I think all these things will be discussed over there. And once you have promised me, I will just let him know that you can move from there. So the majority of those who are coming naturally are those from the US? I would the majority, say, yeah, 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 that would, that yeah, would make sense. Yeah, it's a yeah. bigger country, yeah, a bigger Jamaicans, population. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Take so, care of Papua New Guinea. Yeah, yeah. Really, really. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. And, and what type of numbers have you had? Would you say coming over? How many would you say have come to see here? Oh, oh we fair with you. According to my brother Obed, about he has received about yeah. thousands and five thousand emails. People are showing interest. He said, want to know the proper procedure they have to go through. Mm -hmm. That people who are yet to come, mm -hmm. but so far. It will, it, will, it will be around like more than a hundred. Yeah. yeah, more than a yeah, hundred. When is it last month? About hmm. about five fifty, 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 fifty. There was this um Omar Johnson in US. Yeah, yeah. Omar, Omar Johnson was there. Yeah, he yeah. was here. Yeah, and he brought some people, so they came check out the land. Two buses and mm -hmm. uh, stuff. Yeah. Well done, Omar. Oh yeah. Yo, rise up to Umar Johnson, brother. Yes, sir. I don't care what anybody else has said. Yes, I know yeah. you're trying your best, yeah. yeah and I true. encourage you to keep on my brother. You know, you're a big brother to us, and you've been spitting knowledge and speaking knowledge for us that I myself have personally learned from and my family have personally learned from so we appreciate that as well brother Johnson yeah we've come up this lane here we've got a, a split ways here maybe you can explain why there's a split what, what does okay. that mean this split um, is a road to some of the farmers okay. and uh, there was a place where they were really sand so the trust would just pass here to go and win the sand win yeah sand yeah, winning, sand winning. Okay. Sand that. Uh, they go, they go, they dig them. out, and then they fetch the sand for building. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So some of them do that inside there. So this is the route to the place, mm -hmm. and this can also be a route to some of the farms. If you can see that, yeah. You see, they fetch some of the sand from there. Sand winning. Yeah. You see. <laughs> <laughs> in in the dirt of the ground is growth yeah. and structure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we used to build here. Uh -huh. yeah. You see, we just dig it out, fetch it the truck. And what are some of the natural uh, occurring uh, uh, foods that grow here? Um, yeah. Some here, cassava. Yeah, normally they grow themselves like cassava. Mm -hmm. They have orange. I know they have um, palm nuts. Uh, they have sugarcane, sugar cane, coconut. Cane, you can see sugar canes yes. over there. This is sugar. These are all sugar cane. Yes. Yeah. This is sugar cane. Yeah. This is cassava, cassava over there. That's Actually, here we do mess farm. Try we eat what we produce here. Mm -hmm. Except those who live in the cities, you know. Here, yeah, when you go to your farm, you can get your cassava, you can get your pepper, the tomato. They just pluck them. Come to the house and prepare food. True self-sustainability, self-sustainability. Yes, like even here, you can before you get out, you might get everything that you need to go home to cook. Exactly. Yeah. Cassava is here, you get pepper, pepper here, tomatoes here, you just get them and then. Natural, you know. Yeah. yeah. This is, I think, this is sweet potato, right? Yeah. yeah. So wait, can we got sweet potato, yes, yeah. cassava, cassava, sugar cane, sugar cane oranges. Oranges. <laughs> oranges. <laughs> oh, my brother. Yes, oh, yeah. oh, wonderful. Back home? learned a lot from living here we need to bring that knowledge to develop ourselves because god created us in his own image as his own image so we need to develop to glorify god yes because we've been suppressed for a very long time mm -hmm. and the time has come yes. that we need to move out from this suppression mm -hmm. and move on yes. and develop ourselves because we have everything here Everything, every natural thing that we need to use to develop this country or this continent is here. Mm -hmm. But it is, uh, the knowledge wasn't available at the time. Mm -hmm. Now that our brothers and sisters have gone to learn this knowledge, I think it's time to bring this knowledge back to develop Africa. I mean, it, would you agree that um, it's, it's a, a twofold because 
Um, yes, there may be things that we've picked up, but we will not be in any way prepared to come and be able to do it without you, our brothers. It's a, it's a mutual uh, arrangement that only we can do with each other. Yes. You are work at any day, any time, any minute. Is that Aquaba, is it? Aquaba. Aquaba. Welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I've been getting schooled by my brother Martin yeah. here. Martin Lou fucking us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So that's something. We want to develop Africa. We want to develop Ghana. We want to develop Asia. Mm -hmm. As you are coming, it's going to change a lot of things. You know? My brothers and sisters, you know, this is not about money. But at the same time, obviously money is needed. Um, so what might seem like a small amount to you over the rest, if contributed as a collective, can make a big difference to us being able to move forward. The real wealth is the people. You know, I was looking at Dr. Mumbi Saraki, who I have much uh, affection for, and she was saying um, just recently that more important than the places that we visit, it's the people that we meet. Um, however, if there's things that we have that can add as a kickstart to support what's taking place, then why would we not do it? Many of us waste money on frivolous things, you know. Uh, I'm sure that many of us have uh, many TVs at home. How many phones do we have? How many appliances do we have which are sitting there? Where we're changing our appliances before they're even broken. We're throwing them away before they've even had their pass or sell by date. We're wasting money and we're wasting time. Could we not be wiser with our time and our money and use it to contribute in regards to the growth here and investment in ourselves and investment in, in our people and an investment for our future and our children. Yeah. 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 I think investing in human development is very, very important, yeah. very key yeah. to the people of Africa, especially Ghana. Well, there's nothing more precious than people because yeah. if you look carefully what's taking place, yeah. what have really um, in the history people come for? Yeah. Yes, wealth and materials, but ultimately yeah. it was the, the people. people. Yeah. It was the people. The yeah. people make the world. Yes. So the world should have impact on the people as well. That's right, yes. So. All right. Yeah. All right. That's good. So, hey, thank you for checking us out. We came to check that. We will let you know whatever happens from here. This is going to be like a storyline. We've come to check it out. We'll go to the next uh, section, the next section, the next section, and we go. Thank you for checking us out. Bye. Sure. All right.